Over the third straight season, the University of Texas didn't publicly name its starting quarterback for its bowl game. UT head coach Mac Brown was at Santerra this morning for the Valero Alamo Bowl's golf outing. The Horns will be making only their second trip to the Alamo Bowl in the Valero Alamo Bowl's 20-year history. UT just 21 and 15 since the Rose Bowl a few years ago, and is only 1 and 11 against top 25 teams during that stretch. Still, it's Texas, huge brand, and Coach Brown says things are looking up. We think our program is probably in the best shape it's ever been. We just got to get the wins back. When you you have won all the games, that there, there's no doubt that it's not just us. But when you've won all the games for me, uh, eight wins isn't enough either. That standard set higher than that, and and. We're headed back in the right direction, but we want to go back and win all the games again. The fact that our players' parents will be close and their high school coaches, a lot of their friends will be able to see them play, and, and that will make this a really special game for us. President Bill Powers is issuing a statement saying Mac has the school's full support after the Horns' 8-4 and four season and third straight year without a BCS game. Powers said on his blog that Mac will remain the UT head football coach and dismissed media speculation that his job was in jeopardy. Says Mac also has the full support of AD DeLos Dodds and praised Mac's 15 year tenure, which produced two conference titles and a national championship. But getting back to the Alamo Bowl, Mac's Longhorns will be opposed by Oregon State. And you may actually recognize the familiar face that leads the Beavers to their first bowl game in three years. And Coach Mike Riley was not only our World League of American football coach with the Riders back in the early 90s, but also our first Canadian Football League head coach. Riley has always maintained ties to the area. In fact, he's building a new house in green. Riley is looking forward to the matchup, for one, because it's a chance to further the Beaver brand here in Texas. He also remembers fondly his time coaching the Riders back in the day. You know, our experience with uh, uh, this area, this city, with that team, you know, I really had fun coaching that team. There were a lot of great people, great players. Uh, Jason Garrett was our first quarterback. He's done very well in the coaching profession. So, you know, we've, we've had a lot of long-time relationships from our time with the San Antonio Riders and a lot of really good people uh, in, from that era that really tried to make that thing go. The Royal Alamo Bowl is coming up three weeks from Saturday. For ticket information, you can check out their website at ValeroAlamoBowl.com.